Hey guys, Jared back once again, and today we've got another really useful app review for you guys. Uh, if you're coming here from CloudSend, from that video that I just did a review on, and if you haven't, then go check out that one because they do the exact same thing, but I wanted to do two different videos so I could explain the differences between the two without making a super long video. Uh, anyway, so instead of CloudSend, right now in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Send It. You'll notice also that it's got a stock Android application icon. That's basically when developers forget to add an icon. Now this may have an icon, it's just when I downloaded it, it wasn't there. So anyways, go ahead and launch it. This is the application. There's no settings, nothing. Just like Cloud Send, there's nothing else you can do. But the difference between Send It and Cloud Send is that Send It uses Google Drive integration instead of Cloud Send using um, Dropbox integration. Now, there's an up and down with this. The upside is that pretty much everybody under the sun has a Google account or a Gmail account. And if they do, that means they have a Google Drive account. And if they have a Google Drive account, they have extremely easy and quick access to whatever files you're gonna be sending them. Now the whole point of Send It is to be able to send any file you want, that being videos, pictures, documents, um, application files and so on via SMS, that's right, your text messaging application to any phone on the market, that being iPhone, Windows Phone, Blackberry, whatever it may be. Because when generally when you use the MMS uh, function trying to send those files, it always screws it up because unless the person on the uh, the recipient has the exact same operating system or mobile OS as you, um, say for instance, you know, as an example, I tried to send pictures to my friend who has an iPhone and I send it to him and he either doesn't receive it because the device is caught or um, hung up trying to compress the file to be able to send it to an iOS device or his iOS device just won't accept that text message from me with the file in it. So that's where these two applications come into play. So what it'll do is let's say for instance, I go into my gallery here and I wanna send a big fat picture of my dog or a picture of my big fat dog to say for instance my wife, I would go select the picture, jump into the little share option there, select send it, and then we've got your contacts list. So uh, I want to locate my wife, alrighty, select that, maybe I say big fat <laughs> pic of Benson, all right, test, okie dokie, and then we click send, boom. Now it's being uploaded to your Google Drive folder, okay, to a specific folder that it has set up, it's ready to go. Now Cloud Send takes just a little bit longer than I noticed that, than uh, Send It does to upload the file, okay? Once it's uploaded, then what you would uh, then see is, if I can just bring this up, is um, a link sort of like this. Now this is the Cloud Send test that I did before. The difference between Cloud Send and Send It is that Cloud Send has this strange ass um, file name which people could confuse and try clicking on it to access the file. Instead, they need, they need to access the file by clicking down below there. Now, send it doesn't show you that it's been sent via SMS because it's using Google to do it, all right? But it is sending a link to that file to a folder. They only have access to that file, so don't worry, they can't just start mucking about your Google Drive account, all right? And then from there, they have the option to download the picture. Unfortunately, unlike Cloud Send, it doesn't let you preview the picture before you download it. So you don't know what you're getting, especially if it is a video or a picture file, okay? Um, furthermore, what I don't like about Send It is that it has a file size limitation on the free version. It only has 10 megabytes uh, that you're allowed to send to only one contact at a time, okay? If you wanted to send an unlimited file size to unlimited amount of contacts at one time, you have to pay for the pro version, which is just under $2. Now, send, Cloud Send is free. And as far as I know, there is no file size limitation with the exception of whatever Dropbox limits the file size to. And Cloud Send also lets you preview the image file before you download it, if you even decide to do so. Um, but what I do really like about Send It is that it has Google Drive integration. And to me, that's the big one. That's the big one. I don't really use Dropbox a whole lot and I'm able to manage my files easier with Google Drive because I frequent Google Drive more. So it's kind of up to user preference. If you prefer uh, dealing with Dropbox integration, Cloud Send is definitely the way to go. If you prefer Google Drive integration, download Send It. And if you need to send, send files bigger than 10 megabytes at a time to more than one person at a time, fork with that two bucks and you're good to go. What I'm really blown away though is that there's a huge lack of downloads in these um, two applications 
um, the, the usefulness of these applications is absolutely astronomical. And I think that more people should be aware of these and download these. So, I mean, you know, if you've got any friends with iPhones or I'm sorry, Androids that want to send pictures to people, recommend these two applications for them. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like these applications, go ahead and shoot me some love by hitting that likes button down below. It shows me which applications you do like reviewed and which ones you don't like reviewed. Also, if you haven't already, you may want to consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. It is free after all. Uh, we do have videos five days a week. That's it for now though, folks. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.